Cheers, everyone. Gotta have a coffee. Number two. Oh, you know what random song just played in my head? It was Mambo number five. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. Today, we are back with the final roundup of 2021 products. And today I felt like we couldn't end off this whole like roundup of best and worst if we didn't talk about the overly sponsored products. We do a series here. If you are new here, welcome by the way, introduce yourself down below. But this is a series that we do where I buy a whole bunch of products that have been in a ton of different ads you guys have seen all over the social space and we need to test and see are they actually worth it. And we were put through the ringer testing some of these things. Oh no, why is it chunky? Whoa, that's sugary. This looks so cheap. Oh. It smells like moldy hay. <laughs> oh, gross. That doesn't smell right. I don't like it. There's a free sample. You get what you pay for, I guess. Is there a free sample? Oh, okay. Well, that's um, disappointing. But we also found some gems, some products that I like, I'm really excited about that I have purchased or repurchased over and over. One of which I actually gave to my dad for Christmas, I love it that much. I thought, you know what? I love doing roundups. I feel like we need to do more of these. I really enjoy them. And let's dive in. Starting with the list. I had a list last time. I have another list. Is it color coded? Yes, it is because I'm crazy. Okay, I wanna start, I wanna start with a good one. I wanna start with one that we consistently, not just me, Chris too, use on a consistent basis. And there are a couple of things that I don't love about it, but it's the thing that we continue to reach for and use because it has served its purpose. And that is the always pan. This thing, I just, so many ads and all over the internet too. Actually, I haven't seen them on TikTok <laughs> yet. Dun, dun, dun. And the always pan is one of those, it's like a 10 in one pan, so the, person who created it um, essentially wanted something that was going to do it all. So it's a non-stick, but it's deep enough that you can, you know, boil pasta in, or you can make sauces, stir fries, things like that. It can't go in the oven. That's the only part I haven't seen, obviously, but it's supposed to be a pan that does it all. And I will say that the non-stick has held up really well for us. We use this a ton. I like how deep of a you can see, oh, I'm so sorry, you can see that. Bottom of the pan's really dirty. Really need to clean that. I won't, but I should. The pan itself is so nice and deep and just easy, easy clean as well. The one thing I don't like about this, and Chris also mentioned when he was talking about it as well, is the handle. I personally don't like the handle because it's square, and I find that that, especially as you fill this with things, it gets heavy and it's just not comfortable to hold. Like it's just, you got these like, sides are like digging into your hand. I don't like it. And you got this weird knob too. And it's supposed to be for putting like a little wooden spatula. That's what I'm looking for. And then you can like rest it right there. But honestly, I don't think we've ever done that. Not even once, not even a little bit. So that's just annoying. I don't like it. I wish it was just like a smooth area and you can just like fit it in there or any spatula or cooking utensil, not just the one that has the notch, you know? That's just an aesthetic. Thing though. It has a nice domed lid. I really like it. I like the color too. It's like this like nice salmon-y color. They do come in a bunch of different colors though, but like I like this. Except for those like the little watch outs with the handle and whatever, but like I like it. One that I do not like, Smart Sweets. I really wanted to like Smart Sweets, everyone. I re I did. In my heart, I wanted to. And I just didn't. And again, it's very important to state like for Smart Sweets, it's supposed to be a lower sugar alternative, sometimes even a vegan alternative to like sugary, I don't know, Sour Blast Kids and stuff like that. This is, what is this called? Sour Blast, oh no, no, no. It's Sour Blast Buddies versus Sour Patch Kids. I just, the names, the naming is immaculate. And I was reading a lot of the comments and there were some people who loved them, some people who didn't. Eating too many of them was a poor decision many of you recommended not doing. And the reason that a couple of them have a different texture or consistency to them is because they are plant-based, which I think is pretty cool. But I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't expecting such a stark difference. But overall, like despite that even, just the flavors of them I felt were a little bit off. The sourness wasn't there for anything that was supposed to be sour. The only one I did like was the uh, gummy the worms. Where's the gummy, the, the, these ones. I saved all the packaging so we could talk about it. These ones are delicious. Everything else was not my cup of 
salty. I don't know, Chris, did you like any of these? I feel like you liked them more than we did. Oh yeah, those are all right. Like these are the best, oh, the gummy, the gummy bears. Those were also really good. I don't think I didn't like these. Those I could get on board for. Oh, okay. I think you liked them. Like, is it a Swedish fish? I think it was a fish. Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. <laughs> I used to be scared of that, you know. The fishy? I don't know, maybe it's the anticipation of the fishy. This is so scary though. Fish are terrifying. Maybe, maybe we just don't we just don't have them anymore. Maybe I ate them all. Oh no, you didn't! Ah! Oh, those were nasty. Didn't like those. The watermelon? I found your fish. Hmm. Those ones were the best ones out of all of them. I didn't love them. Understanding too that they are they are a different category of mm -hmm. sweet. It's not it's not gonna be a direct comparison. But yeah, I really only liked the gummy worms and the gummy bears. Those were probably my favorite out of all of them. Since we're on the train already of things that we don't like, um, the fancy sprinkles. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> it's a weird thing that we tried. So um, Chris and I tried to make fun little cocktails and stuff with this really, really pretty, pretty, Prism powder. Ooh. So the thing with this was, and I actually saw comments about this, people were like, oh, you have to put it in like champagne or a clear liquid or whatever. And it's like, yeah, I get it. Like that would work better. But the point is they showed themselves putting it into milk and it working well. So that's what we tried it and it didn't work. It didn't work at all. It was just really frustrating. And I understand this is like, like if you were gonna buy these for your wedding for like toast and you have like, pretty like sparkling champagne type thing because the bubbles will make like the glitter keep going. Sure. Which I thought was clever. Like, yeah, that would make sense. Again, don't market it to do anything else except for that purpose. But like it changed the flavor of the drinks and like, yeah, no, don't do it. Oh, that wasn't the worst part of that purchase. Do you remember? No. Is it out here? Yes, it is. Oh. I'm still mad about this. I'm gonna open up my mystery spar sparkles, sprinkles, whatever. <laughs> Let's see. What did I get? What did I get? What did I get? Oh, that's not that interesting. It's just like black and white with like a couple of stars in it. Like, no. I paid for that. And I understand too, like I have a, like a, I went to school for marketing and I understand that that's how people like get rid of inventory that isn't selling well. I, I get it. This wasn't even an option from like the ones they had on the side. They're like, look at all these different things that we have. Look. No, this, this is malarkey. The mystery box, ooh, like, ridiculous. Have something in here that's gonna make me wanna buy from you again. Like give me something where I'm like, oh, these are really cool. I'm gonna purchase more of these. This makes me think, oh, all of theirs is garbage. I'm not gonna buy any, you know? Just, no, that was a poor marketing decision. I'm really mad about that one. Also the stars. Christopher, the stars, they were not star-like. They oh, yeah. smeared they and like turned, the they turned mustardy. No, just, I didn't have a very good experience from this brand. I mean, the luster powder, the like gold stuff, I put on some donuts and tried to paint on the side of Chris's glass. Pretty. I did notice actually after the fact that I had purchased these and filmed the video over the, the Christmasy, I had like Christmassy, like, um, what are those things called? They put them in the, in the milk, Chris, and they, open, what are they? Chocolate bombs? Yeah, that's the one, the hot chocolate bombs. And they had a whole bunch of different flavors and like a DIY kit that looked really good. And I was like, oh, so close. But um, I don't know, maybe they'll come up with something for like Valentine's Day that we can test. But those products, yeah, no, not impressed. Fancy sparkles, sprinkles. This is not fancy, though it is a sprinkle. N no, this is a zero out of 10 for me. Now I wanna talk about a product that I do really like and I have repurchased from this brand since I tested it for a video and that is Blue Land. And Blue Land creates these cleaning products, but they do so in a way that's supposed to be more environmentally conscious. So they, Basically, they sell these empty bottles that you can use as sort of your starter kit if you want. And then they send these like little um, compostable packets and inside is like a little disc that you put into warm water and it bubbles and fizzes and creates the cleaning solution. And that way, when you're ordering refills, you're not buying all these like big containers full of soap or whatever, you're buying this. So I actually, when I originally purchased, I got like the starter kit. So I got this like really nice like, ooh nice like, glass bottle kind of thing. But you can also get like, there's like a six pack on Amazon of the plastic foam soap dispensers. So you could just get those and it's about the same in terms of the amount of water that they'll hold. So 
let you know. So I ended up just getting a whole bunch of the refills and I just filled all of the soaps around the house because we had those clear foam dispensers anyway. And I bought a whole bunch of new flavors. They had some out for Christmas. So they had like peppermint and evergreen and I think gingerbread. I didn't love gingerbread as much, but like peppermint was like real nice. And then the one that I originally got that smells, it smells so good. It was not lavender and eucalyptus. Which one are you? Oh, here we go. Iris Agave. This is the one that I originally bought and it smells phenomenal. So anyway, they have like a whole bunch of different sets. You can buy it like on a reoccurring basis if you wanted to. Um, I have all the cleaning solutions too. You can see like, I don't go through them a ton. <laughs> speaks volumes about me. Looks like I don't clean my house for a year. This one I keep in my office. It's just for like cleaning up my, my desk, just for makeup surfaces. But I think that they work. I think that the concept is really cool. My sister-in-law, Lauren, actually went in on an order with me for the hand soaps. So we got a whole bunch of those as well. And I think they're awesome. Okay, now I wanna get into another one that I love. And so I ended up buying more for myself. And then I also bought some for my dad for Christmas. And he, I just got a message from him like, right after Christmas, he was like, it's really good. And that is the company Bloom. And they basically make these different powdered, like tea blends for the most part, but they're like nutrition based powder blends, is the best way I can describe them. And you can put them in a variety of different things, smoothies, um, oatmeal, you can just have them like, I have them with foamed milk, for example, as like, you know, nice little latte treat, you know? But I really love the matcha coconut blend. I think that it blends out well, so it's not, I don't know, just gross and lumpy. You know, sometimes you get like a matcha and you're like, what? What happened here? It has this hint of coconut, which I really like, and like a surprising kick of caffeine. I don't know why no one told me that you can actually get a good dose of caffeine that doesn't leave you feeling like jittery afterwards. Um, it's really good. I did try some of the other ones too, the blue lavender blend and the beetroot blend. Chris has been having the beetroot blend, which is good. It's not my favorite. It feels like more of like a fall drink and I kind of bought it the tail end of fall has more of those like that earthier flavor notes to it that just remind me of that. And I'm just like, I'm, I'm already, <laughs> I'm already done with winter. I'm just focused on spring. And then the blue lavender blend, honestly, I should be testing this more because I don't sleep well at all. Like I have been struggling with it for ever since I finished nursing Connor. I have not been able to sleep through the night. So I should, you know what, I'm gonna leave this out because I actually wanna test and see if this is going to help me to get sleepy. But not just sleepy, actually sleep through the night and not wake up every three to four hours. That's fun. All right, the next one, I sadly, I didn't really like it, but I can, I can see that some people might enjoy them and that is the water drop. These are what they call micro drinks. So basically it's like these little, Open it. There we go. It's a little cube like this. They are pre-packaged like this, all of them. So you could stick them in your purse or like in your car or wherever. And then you drop them into either carbonated water or flat water. And it's just going to add a nice little flavor profile. They have a whole bunch of different uh, options to choose from. We tested a whole bunch of them and I found like they were very stevia forward. And for me, I'm very sensitive to that taste. And I feel like, I don't know, it just like, coats my tongue in a weird way. I'm just like not a huge fan of it. So I kind of wish that there was an option that didn't have the artificial sweeteners in it or anything like that. Like, I think that that would be really good. And I really like the idea of it. It wasn't my favorite though. And now we need to go on a journey because I need to show you my chirp wheel. All right, I finally gathered them all up. So these are my chirp wheels. These are designed to help you to crack your back. And I demonstrated without actually cracking my back um, in the last video. And basically your spine goes here. There's a big one, which is more for stretching. Medium kind of does everything. And then the small one is really good for like a pretty good adjustment. I'm gonna knock a lot of you. And it does such a good job. It feels so good. They're nice and light and small. Before I had like a big, huge foam roller, which again, I still really like and use, but this is so much more convenient. Also right now, I almost exclusively use the smallest one right in the low edge. You can't see that. They're kind of a little bit. Basically in the small of my back, I will put this there when I'm sitting at the computer and I don't know, doing emails or whatever, because it forces me into proper posture. Otherwise I'm going to be like slouched over. Just a terrible posture at the computer. So these things are just life-changing for me. I deal with a lot of back issues and these have made such 
an impact on just being able to not feel like something is always out of place. Oh, they're just, they feel fantastic. And then the other one I have also up here. <laughs> He's hiding. Can you see him? Hello. Is my little Aromatech diffuser because I haven't talked enough about Aromatech this year. I feel like I talk about them more on Rach Loves than on this channel, but they are basically like essential oils. And I was first introduced to them, I think through, I was testing out other like YouTubers favorites. And one of the girls mentioned Santal, which is one of their scents. It's one of their signature scents, what they're known for. And she's like, you need to try it. Your house will smell like a luxe hotel. And I was like, oh, I am sold. And these are not cheap. I will say that like the little bottles, I think they're either 30 or $50. I can't remember. Like they are not giving them away as Chris likes to say, <laughs> but a little goes a long way. Like they are powerful so you can adjust the scent, but the Santel in general, it has my whole heart. If you want to feel productive in your life and just feel like you have everything together, just put Santel in, in one room and tell me it doesn't make you feel like you're a thousand times more productive and just, I don't know, it, it lifts my, my mood feels better. I feel more calm, more confident. I, I can't explain it. It just, it smells incredible. I don't promise all of these things, by the way. I just really like it and it makes me feel happy. So I continue to buy it. I actually also got to work with them on Instagram, which is like really exciting. Okay, now we can go back downstairs. Okay, we're back. Let me know down below if you have any overly sponsored brands that we should test out in future upcoming videos in 2022. If you have any that you see in the comments too that you like, make sure to give them a thumbs up. And so I know that you guys really like to see that one next. I hope you are having a fantastic weekend and I will see you all next week.